Hey YouTube, what is up? It is me. Um, I wanted to come on here real quick to talk about something that um, I've been seeing a lot lately. And I've been going through lately. And that's customer service representatives. And I don't mean the ones that are mean to me. Because we all go through that. We all know what that's like. But I mean being a customer service representative being told that they're fucking stupid. So. We all know about those relatable pages on Facebook and shit like that. And everyone shares it because everyone thinks they're so relatable. Which, that's kind of the point. So, like, I can't shade them for that. That's not the point, though. <sighs> Sorry. The point is that it's relatable <laughs> because people don't realize that when you stand behind that counter or you're behind that register or whatever you're a human being doing what you're told to do if your fucking grapes are ringing up 2.99 a pound and ringing up 3.99 that's not my problem linda i don't set the goddamn price Go talk to a manager who gets paid to listen to this. Go talk to produce. I'm just going to flash my light and you're going to have to talk to them anyway. Like, don't get mad at me when your cherries are $5.99 a pound. When if you go somewhere else, they're ten ninety nine. Okay, listen. No, you don't have to buy them. But if you're going to buy them, you got to spend the five ninety nine a pound. That's not my problem. You're the one who decided to read the damn sign and still pick up 10 pounds of cherries at $5.99 and then complain that you're spending so much money on cherries. That's, oh my God, that was a personal choice on your end. Leave me alone. Next are the people who tell you that you need to be retrained or you need to be fired. Okay, I'm not showing up at your place of work telling you you're doing your job wrong and that you need to be retrained. So I would appreciate it if you didn't come into mind telling me that I'm doing my job all wrong and that I have to be fired. Clearly, I am doing my job and apparently I'm doing it well enough that my boss decided that I'm going to stick around for a while because I, clearly I am still here and I haven't been fired. Also, if I get called one more goddamn name like idiot, dumbass, asshole, I might actually say it back and then I'll get fired. Which brings me on to the next point. If one more person calls me kiddo, buddy, dude, I'm literally going to slap someone. I don't like it. I know it's a term of endearment and you're just trying to be nice, but I'm honestly going to hit you. I don't like it. I... Even just in regular speak, if someone comes up to me and says, Hey, buddy, I literally just want to hurt them. I'm sorry. I know uh, that's going to be bugging some people. And uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just too lazy to fix it. But yes, customer service representatives are people too. And it, 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 this this goes for any kind of customer service rep. A waiter, a, a stock person at a store, a a cashier, a booth person, even the managers. Okay, you know what? We don't make the rules. Well, some managers make rules, but not all of them. Some of them just have to abide by the rules that the higher ups have to make. Leave us alone. Just know that we're doing our job and we're trying to like help you by doing those jobs. And you calling us names and saying that we suck and saying that we need to be retrained or we need to be fired we need to lose our jobs to learn to, to prove a point no no how about you just take your legs walk out the damn door think about what you just said come back in say you're sorry realize that i'm just doing my job here and buy shit and get out okay that's all i got to say on the matter i'm gonna go to bed now it's 1 a.m. Night.